All right, greetings and welcome back, gentles and ladies, men, to another exciting episode of Exoplay Super Mario 64 DS. Uh, we've wrapped up some backtracking and other things we couldn't play earlier, so now we're actually going to start the basement. Hallelujah, I know, right? Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and... How about we go to Lethal Lava Land first, because that sounds like fun. Um, I actually don't mind this level all that much. I think Eric hates it. I know, I can't remember. I think, um, don't be a pushover. If anyone tries to push you around, push back. It's one-on-one -on -one with a fiery end for the loser. So that's kind of a hint about how you're supposed to fight the, the bosses here. Um... Yeah, let, we'll, we'll save the red, we'll, we'll save the 100 coin star for later, so for now we'll actually play the levels like normal, because once again, uh, as I did in the first session, I will be pairing red coins, I'm sorry, I can't fucking speak today, uh, we'll be pairing our 100 coin stars uh, with stars that make sense to pair them with, and there, I don't know, there's... There, later on in the stage, a Koopa shell will spawn. So you can see that Wario punches bullies so far. It is by far his most useful aspect, which is the reason why, again, why we unlocked War Wario before coming down here to play the basement levels. Because fighting that big bully and all the other tiny boys is so much less of a hassle to do as Wario. Uh, so this is this is where Wario is at his most useful by far. Uh, so if there if you if you pick one level to play as Wario in, just in general, make it Lethal Lava Land. So, yeah. Uh, so now, uh, what, what another problem with Lethal Lava Land is we have some of that Big Boo's Haunt style repetition going on. I will say that from a level design point of view, there are many different ways to get two specific areas so you're kind of you're allowed to pick that at least you know and there are some speed running opportunities but you could see that there's a there's a big bully over here Ooh, that was a that was a close one my boys god why does it take so long for them to get back up it's so annoying you, you could see that the fucking bullies just go flying uh, whenever wario strikes them so all right, so that's two of them down. And we got the third one, and now we're fighting the same mini boss, or I guess this is technically a regular boss, but you guys know what I'm saying. This guy wasn't difficult the first time, and the only difference here is that we fight several little mooks first. So it's like, you know, if we're gonna fight him again, could you give him more health? Or could you give him some attacks? Maybe he jumps around a little bit before he becomes vulnerable. Something like that, but instead they just make you do the same thing we just did in the last star. Except you jump through more hoops, so you, they might as well have just kept that one and removed the first one. So, I don't know. It's it's That's one of the big problems with Mario 64. Because it's like... When you look at other Mario collectathons, uh, they all have some amount of filler in them. Like, Galaxy 1 and 2 has the Prankster Comets, those are filler. Uh, Sunshine has the red coin challenges and the secret levels that you have to play, and... I don't know, stuff like the, uh, come on. Is it gonna move? I, know, I guess it's waiting for the coins to disappear, so while it's doing that, I'll go ahead and move over and grab these other red coins. Easiest red coin star ever. I don't know, it's... I don't know, yeah, it is definitely the easiest one, like... The red coin stars in Super Mario Sunshine, for the most part, are kind of... ...put in a specific area, and not spread out all over the stage like they are for the most part in this game, but that one's just like, in a little two square feet of stage. All eight of them are just sitting there, so... Alright, so... Hmm... How do I want to go about this? I think... I'll just play it the normal way. I feel like doing that tonight. So eventually a Koopa shell block will show up and that's when we're gonna go after our 100 coin star. So until then, we'll have to wait. We'll just play the game like like, like uh, the designers intended. Uh, but anyways, we got kind of a platforming opportunity. I believe that there is some kind of pro uh, speed running strat you could pull off with Mario in the original game. 
uh, but honestly, in the time it would take me to get the Mario cap, and, like, you can also use the pea balloon from the far side of the stage and play it that way, but in the time it would take for me to grab the cap, you know, it, it's just faster to do it the normal way, so... Well, and at least this way I'll be able to show off how the log rolling... Log rolling works pretty well in the DS version, like... You only need to move left and right, and you already have left and right, and the D-pad, so... It works fine. Uh, one thing I have been meaning to talk about for ages at this point is I hear a lot of people saying, talking about the 3DS Circle Pad, about how, well, it doesn't matter that Super Mario 64 uses D-pad controls because you can play it on the 3DS with the Circle Pad. And yeah, so as you can see here, we have this block, Disfu. So we'll go ahead and unlock uh, this uh, blue coin switch here first. Then we'll unlock this to get the thing to show up, and we'll keep the camera on it. And as you can see, there are a whole bunch of blue coins scattered throughout this stage that we can grab. It's like I'm playing Super Mario 64 all over again. I didn't do so hot at collecting them, so I think... I think I'm going to commit seppuku. And try again later. And if Wario would let me... Hugo, Hugo left me. If you get that reference, you get a gold star. Uh, and by the way, Strong Sad did beat Clapping Party, so that's something to note. Always, I thought that was funny uh, when I saw that in the April Fool's special this year. And then there's gonna, there's gonna be a ton, a bunch of people who have no idea what I'm talking about and are gonna be so confused. All right, this time I've got. Uh, yes, make sure you hold that fucking L button down. That'll make it so much easier to get all of these. Because it means that you can, while you're on the, the Koopa shell, you can turn on a dime. It makes, it's gonna make it a lot easier to kill this Mr. I. Who is gonna drop another fiver for us, and we'll be that much closer to 100 coins. And, you know, I, I don't know. I, I guess I, I'm sorry for my unprofessional, or unprofessional, unprofessionalism unprofessionalism in, the, in getting those blue coins in the first try, but like I said, it's been a while since my practice played the unit. Well, it sucks that our Koopa shell is gone, but I don't know, at this point we can pretty much do this without it. I think this one we're supposed to go in the volcano. Uh, so it's kind of like a thing where, like, if the easiest way, because this level has two areas, it's got this area right here, and it's got the inside of the volcano. So the easiest way to get the 100 coin star without those blue coins would be to get as many coins on this first area and then grab the remaining coins you need inside the volcano, but there are way more than enough coins to get 100 coins uh, thanks to those blue coins we grab. So we already have our 100 coin star, so now we'll go ahead and jump on into this teeny tiny volcano. It's like a, it's like got a miniaturism quality to it, but... I digress. So, as before, there are two stars inside this volcano, and the volcano textures look really nice in this game. Missed that jump. Uh, but this first one here will see us riding on this little platform, and these platforms look weird in this version of the game. They look different. Like before, they were like a checkerboard pattern, but now they're, well, they're still checkerboard, but they were like black and white checkerboard, and they were like big eraser-shaped platforms. Now they're like these little carpets on a wooden lattice or something. Kind of strange, but uh, so they actually did change the star a little bit. There used to be a f couple fire bars, a couple fires, a couple fire sticks in the parlance of Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers frustration that were circling next to that pole down there, so you would have to like dodge it. But they took that out, and I, I don't really know why. Maybe. It was kind of in an annoying place that wasn't very convenient to dodge, so... Whatever, it's 99% the same. Ah, that's good pop. I gotta say, folks, I don't drink alcohol. Um, what, what's the term for that? A teetotaler? I think that's what it's called. I've, I'm a teetotaler. I've never, the most alcohol I've ever had in my life is from, okay, listen, bully, 
The most alcohol I've ever had in my life comes from uh, communion, when I used to be a theist, before I became agnostic. I don't know. Uh, but regardless, we are back in the volcano. And like I was talking about earlier with about the uh, circle pad, it, it, I, it's kind of like, you guys might remember when I reviewed Pac-Man World, uh, that I noted that it technically supports the DualShock, or the, you know, the analog PS1 controller, but when you actually play Pac-Man World with the analog stick, it still locks you to eight directions, like a D-pad, you know? And that's essentially how the circle pad works. Um, on the uh, on the 3DS when you're playing Super Mario 64 DS that way. So if you are playing Mario 64 DS on a 3DS, uh, you should know that you actually, ha in my opinion at least, have the inferior way to control the game. This game is meant to be played on a D-pad. <laughs> it, it's just kind of the truth of the matter, and I feel like a lot of people are like, I don't want to play a 3D platform with a D-pad, give me my analog stick. Oh, so the circle pad's gotta be better because it's an analog stick, right? It's like, no, you're playing with an analog stick that's emulating a D-pad, so you're getting no extra depth to your control or, you know, sensitivity or degrees or whatever. It's because it's like literally how it works is that uh, analog sticks have something called the dead zone uh, that, that tells it when it's being moved enough to register as movement. And it works that, you can basically work that way with eight directions, like whichever diagonal it's closest to will count as the D-pad direction, if that makes sense. So right off the bat, you know, you have less reliable control, because there's, it's trying to do too much with, with rather it's doing too little, it's using too little of the sensitivity, I don't know, but... I have heard, heard some people say that it gives them kind of a placebo effect to play with the circle pad, like it tricks their brain into thinking that the controls are more improved on 3DS than they actually, you know, logically are. But it's just like, I, I whenever I play this on the 3DS, I use the D-pad. If you are going to play Super Mario 64 DS, do not play it on a 3DS, play it on a DS Lite or an original model DS or if you if you were one of those people who bought a DSi in the year before the 3DS came out, use that instead. Play this with the D-pad, play this on an original model DS, because when you play this on the 3DS, it upscales it and adds a bunch of blur filtering on it too. So the graphics don't look as sharp or nice. I don't know, maybe it gives this game a little bit of anti-aliasing or something and people like that, but you know, it's just... If, if you play, if you hold select while it's booting, and if you hold select on a 3DS while it boots a DS game, it will boot it in the original resolution and you can see how much it blows it up by, like how much empty space there is in the screen. So there is a reason they do it. It's kind of like how you have all that black space if you play a GBA game on a DS. But it makes the game look worse, so don't do that. Uh, we have some time, so let's go ahead and start Hazy Mazy Cave. And yes, it is technically Hazy Maze Cave, but I, Eric and I have been calling it Hazy Mazy Cave since we were five years old, so I'm going to keep calling that for the rest of my life. <clears throat> hey, Wario, even if all the caps look the same, the one you've been wearing for years is special. Your luck runs out when you, you lose it. Wario, although you have devilishly good luck, even you'd be in trouble too. See, without your cap, hitting a question block is dangerous. But don't worry, if you lose your cap, you'll find it in the course where you lost it. Oh, take this with you. I had it hidden. Well, this time I didn't kill my throat by trying to do a toad voice, so I'll take it. Uh, so, yes, that particular toad does have a power star, so you do want to talk to him. Don't skip him over. Alright, so, um... Hazy Mazy Cave, sorry. Hazy Mazy Cave, see it is Hazy Maze Cave, but I'm gonna call it Hazy Mazy Cave till the day I die. Or Hazy Mazy Cave. God, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and get our 100 coin star, because we have a few minutes here before the part ends. Maybe we'll give that a shot. Uh, Wario's the only one who picks up blocks like that over his head and throws them like that, so he's got better control over that, but it's like... 
So it's like there are advantages to playing as Wario, but they're never useful advantages. You know what I mean? It's just, you might as well just play as the other characters because he doesn't really, you know, I don't know. The, Wario's the worst character in the game, or rather the weakest, I'll say it that way. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and kill these, what are these things called? Scuttle bugs? I think they're called scuttle bugs. Pretty sure they're in Paper Mario Sticker Star or something, and that's what they're called. Uh, but you'll notice that they look different in this game. They have, they look like kind of like bumblebee colored, you know? They have the, the, the bee pattern on them. Uh, joke about how bees defy the laws of aviation. Uh, let's see. It's gonna be a tricky situation. Uh, let's go grab one of those caps and use them. Uh, Luigi's gonna be very useful in this room, as you can see. Actually, maybe I should pair the star with the red coin one instead of what I was thinking. Yeah, I should probably do that. So we'll grab this red coin here. And we're gonna use Luigi's broken backflip to get us over to the Mr. Eye. And now he's locked onto me so we can actually kill him and take that and of course, the only way to get rid of your cap is to get hit by an enemy, so... Ugh, we'll come back for that later. Uh, good news is that Wario's actually very useful this section down here, where there are lots of coins. Uh, so no matter what, when you, when you go to grab the 100 coin star, you are going to want to head down here and get a metal cap. And I'm pretty sure Luigi's Vanish Cap works for this too, as you can see there's poison gas. So in order to defeat the po or prevent damage from the poison gas, you have to be either Vanish Luigi or Metal Wario. And I'm pretty sure... And, you know, enemies also... you also kill enemies right away by, by touching them with the Metal Cap on, so... Let's go ahead and grab this real quick and... I do find it really annoying how, like, his face is, like, barely under the fucking gas and he's still taking damage. And every time he does, he goes, Alright, so this switch here will activate some blue quans down here, so we'll go ahead and follow that trail this way. There are actually quite a few of them, too, so you don't want to miss them. And we can go ahead and kill that guy and grab his coins. And the gas makes it kind of hard to see where stuff is, so... Arr! It's like every time I jump, I take damage. It's annoying, isn't it? Can't be the only one who thinks that's annoying, but anyways, we got one more Sniffit. Ooh, whenever you kick them, they go flying 200 miles an hour. Is there anything over here? No, there is not. And there's, there are a couple of exits from this area. Like, I can't even do a double jump because I keep getting hurt the moment I land back in the thing. So it's, I don't know, it's, we can't, uh, yeah, there's no coins. There are no coins this way, rather. So I think what I'm going to try is this. There's another place to jump up over here. Better hurry up or I'm going to get myself killed. That'd be, that would be right annoying, that. As Carl Pilkington might say. Mm. The the English, if you're an Englishman watching this, or if you are a S Scottish, Welsh, or Irish, uh, from Northern Ireland, Ireland specifically, uh, you, you guys have very interesting vocabulary, I have to say. This fucking, I'm like stuck on the ledge, I can't move. It's like, come on. Could that, could that fucking Monty Mole be in a worse possible position for me to deal with? Alright, so now that we have that, we're gonna go head out of this area. We're gonna mate, we're gonna head out like a baby, as they would say. Does anyone say that? I don't know. Maybe it's like slang in some country. Yeah, uh, but regardless. Regardless! So we have 16 coins we can get out of the, uh, the red coins, so that's what we're gonna pair our star with. Go ahead and grab a Luigi cap real quick. Now what they want you to do... Now, and that is one thing that is inconvenient about Luigi's broken backflip. Is that if you... 
if he can't grab the ledge directly while he's spinning, he'll like bump into the wall and fall down, which is kind of irritating. Like what they expect you to do with this is they like expect you to take this little platform and like ugh, fucking hell, I just fell off again. Let's try this again. Uh, what they expect you to do is there's like this little platform over there with buttons on it and you're supposed to like fucking... S God, stop that, Luigi! Stop! I'm trying to land on that thing and you keep falling off. You're making this take longer. Okay, so try that one more time. It's like, I don't, I don't... Now at this point I'm all in. I don't, I don't like want to give up on this. So you, you do a ground pound on it instead, and then you can just get it that way. And of course, Mario's uh, triple jump is not nearly high enough to get up here, and definitely while Luigi or Wario's is not. Uh, so should be able to make it with backflip. And the rest of them are up in the ceiling area. Hmm. Oh, just just barely high enough, and uh, you can use uh, the wall jump with Mario to get up there as well. There is, you can see that there's a switch star there, which we can only activate with Wario, by the way. Uh, which is also impossible, or very annoying to get with Wario. So you need Wario to open the brick block to access this, the switch, but you can't actually get to the switch. Uh, that's weird, I feel like, did I... Hit a turn off the timer. I feel like the timer should have gone off by now. I don't know. Whatever. Let's see. Uh, we'll we'll get the star and then we'll call it a part. Okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting it. <sighs> Come on, Luigi. You're behaving so well the last time, and now it's like. So there you go. The immortal Luigi in this video game is not as immortal as maybe he seemed at first. <sighs> Let's try the skin. The only reason I fell off is because I wasn't really... I was, like, getting nervous that the part was... that I accidentally turned off the timer or something. <sighs> oh well. Thankfully, what Luigi's broken backflip can still be of use to us. It's like, look at that. Pretty sure Mario could never try that. Let's go back the way we came instead. That'll be faster. So it looks like. Alright. Yeah, it's like I broke. I wasn't paying attention, then I broke the block, but as I was bro breaking the block, it pushed me off the platform, so it's like now you have to go get it again. Alright, so this guy right here should give us a 100 coin star. I'm gonna go ahead and jump and grab that real quick, and we're on our platform, so we don't have to do that again. That's a 100 coin star done and over with. And now we'll go ahead and grab that red coin, and we'll be all set, fam. There we go. It appears down there, so now we don't have to do that later. So that's two of the two most annoying stars in this level, done and over with. So we don't have to redo either of those later, because that's the problem with trying to do 100 coin stars at the end, when you've already fin finished the levels, that you'll invariably end up doing the same thing you had already done with a specific star, so, yeah. So I'll see you in the next part, guys, when we hopefully finish off Hazy Mazy Cave. So until then, I'm Exo, and I'll see you guys next time.